a student of Sheo Shagari College of Education, Sukuta, who was killed on Thursday for allegedly making blasphemous statements about Prophet Muhammad, had pleaded for mercy and called out for help before she, she died. One of Deborah's classmates identified simply as Rakia told Vanguard that the last word of the disease was, what do you hope to achieve with this? Narrating the incident, she said Deborah was flogged, killed, and burnt, and it was the most horrible thing she has ever witnessed. Deborah was my classmate. I just stepped into the class when the opera on her voice note started. It was her own classmate that started it. One of them said, Deborah dared them by refusing to apologize when she was asked to. It all started with a debate on the upcoming examination on a general WhatsApp platform created for our classmates. One of the students asked her how she passed the last examination and in response, she said it was Jesus who immediately about three other chats came in from two Muslims and one Christian telling her to retract the statement. Two students from other departments who overheard some Muslim boys discussing the matter told Deborah's close friend to prevail prevail on her to retract the statement. But she replied via a voice note on the platform, Holy Ghost Fire, nothing will happen to me. Is it by force that you guys will always be sending this religious stuff in this group? The group wasn't created for, th for that, but rather as a notice on tests, assignments, examinations, etc. Not this nonsense religious posts. We were made to understand that some young men were brought from outside before the outrage. I was in class when some of our classmates rushed in saying there's fire on the mountain. You know. Rakia further stated the Muslim students led the strangers to the class to look for her, adding that some classmates tried to help Deborah escape as they had gotten a cab waiting outside to drive straight to police station. But unfortunately, the mob overpowered everyone who tried to save her. The last word in her mouth was, what do you hope to achieve with this? By then, some of her classmates were making calls to some, some of our lecturers to save the situation. It was when I got home that I heard that she was set ablaze. Since the incident, I've been having flash of her pleading expression. She pleaded for mercy and called out for help, but it was far from her. What a cruel way to die, she said. Deborah, rest in peace.